Hi guys and welcome to a new video. Um, in this video I have another Disneyland Paris haul for you. I went to the Disneyland Paris Pride this weekend and it was so incredible. I loved it so much. I had the best time and I also got a bunch of merch again. Uh, mostly Pride merch, 30th, but also the new Euro Disney collection. So I wanted to make a video to show it to you. Um, I did go one time before this, but I didn't make a haul of that trip because I didn't get like a lot. I only got like a few items. So this video is going to be new merch again. And yeah, we're just going to get right into it because it is kind of a lot. Uh, the first thing I got is a pin set, a booster pack. It actually came in this. It was 39 euros and it came with this lanyard. It's a 30th anniversary lanyard. It's quite basic. It just has like little 30th stuff on there. And yeah, this is the lanyard that it came with. And then it came with six character pins. So there is one of Donald. Then there is also one of Daisy. And Pluto. Chip and Dale, which I love, it's so cute. And Mickey and Minnie. And this was 39 euros for six pins and a lanyard. And the pins are quite basic. They're all kind of the same style, but then different characters. But still 39 euros for six pins and a lanyard is really not that bad. So I decided to get it. And yeah, the next item that I got is this popcorn bucket, which I have been after since the 30th anniversary started. But every time I got to Disney, uh, they ran out of it. It was out of stock. And now they finally had some and I did get it with popcorn, which I still have not finished. I got it yesterday because I, I also got back yesterday and I got it yesterday at the park and I wasn't really super hungry then. So I didn't eat a lot of it and now I still have some left. But the bucket itself is so cute. It has Mickey and Minnie on the front. And then it has a 30 on the ears and like little stars. And then the back has Chip and Dale and Disneyland Paris 30. And I just really wanted to have this. It was 10 euros and it came with the popcorn. The next item that I got is a really fun item as well. And it is this puzzle of the park map. And I also got one for my friend actually. And this was 20 euros and it's a thousand piece puzzle of the Disneyland Paris fun map. Like the park map with like different things on it. And yeah, I can't wait to start doing this. I think it's going to be so much fun and so hard because it's quite small as you can see like the the images are quite small so yeah this is either going to be really hard or really uh easy but i am excited to get started with this the next item that i have here is super cute it is this chip and dale plushie for the 30th anniversary they're attached to each other and they're holding the 30th logo and these are so so cute i think these were 28 euros i'm not really 100 percent sure anymore i already took all the tags off but they're so adorable and i just could not not get them so chip and dale i have here then i'm just gonna dive into this bag because yeah there's a lot first of all the new shopper so the front has 30th and disneyland paris 30 years of magic and then the back has Avengers Campus and the Walt Disney Studios Airfell Tower. Um, and these bags are significantly smaller than the blue ones that they used to have. Uh, because now the medium sized one of the new one is kind of like um, really small. It's kind of like the small one from the previous collection. And the new biggest bag is kind of like the old medium one. I don't know if this still makes any sense. but. Just in conclusion, the bags definitely did get smaller, but I don't care because they are really, really cute. And then I also got a new pin lanyard, obviously. It is a 30 Years of Magic Disneyland Paris one, and it came with a lanyard pouch. And this was 13 euros, and it has Mickey and the castle on the back, by the way. And this is part of a collection that I am not the biggest fan of, but I did think this lanyard was really cute. It also has the coordinates of which Disneyland Paris is located uh, right here. And then it says Disneyland Paris, 30 years of magic. Um, and yeah, it's just a fun 
fun lanyard, which I also got. And then the badges were back, the regular badges, and these were five euros. And it's one of Mickey and one of the castle with 30th logo. This is just one of those small items that I just like to have. Then the Euro Disney collection. I got the Euro Disney keychain. This was six euros. It has Mickey, Euro Disney, and on the back it says 1992, which is when Disneyland Paris opened, if you don't know. And then I also got the Euro Disney 1992 ears. And these are actually quite fun because these were created with the community on Instagram. I think this was a poll on the Disneyland Paris, the Shop Disneyland Paris account on Instagram. You could like vote which colors and stuff like that. And then they finally released them. So it says Euro Disney 1992. It has Sorcerer Mickey. And then here it has some images. And these were 23 euros and they are really cute. So those ears. Then I also got the Pride ears because I went to the Pride event and I obviously also got Pride merchandise. I got these ears. These are the new Pride ears. They say Pride with a Disney D on the side and they're kind of like denim color. And then the bow is kind of like, how do you say that? It's not tie dye, but the colors are kind of like faded into each other. I think they're really nice, but I do prefer the older version. Like they had also had a version uh, in 2019 and personally I preferred that version I also have that one and that is with black sparkly ears and then also a rainbow bow but these are cute too and these were 23 euros then I got the new pride spirit jersey which is so exciting because they finally made a black one I also have the white one but I'm not the biggest fan of white clothing because it gets dirty really quickly and if you wash it a lot of times um it kind of gets how do you say that it kind of gets a bit grayish like it doesn't stay like super white and i just prefer black honestly and the front has a rainbow mickey super super cute this was 60 euros by the way and it's a size medium and the back just has disneyland paris in rainbow writing and this is definitely one of my favorite jerseys that i have so far I just think it's very wearable um like it's very very disney don't get me wrong but uh it's not glittery and it's also it's black so it's just easier to wear for me and i think i'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this one actually because it's also really really comfortable and i'm so happy that i got this so the bright jersey i also got another spirit jersey which is the euro disney spirit jersey and this has Mickey, a very big Mickey on the front. Like this is the, the vintage like Euro Disney Mickey. And then one sleeve is yellow and one sleeve is red. And then the back has Disney, like Euro Disney on it, but Disney is on the back. And then the Euro part is on the red sleeve. So if you hold it like this, it says Euro Disney, which is kind of a weird big space in between. But I do still really love this jersey. It's very vintage-y and this was 65 euros. And yeah, I just really wanted to have this because it's like vintage, like Euro Disney style. And I just thought it was really cool. So I got that one as well. This is also a size medium. Um, I tend to get my jerseys in a medium because they just fit the best. Like large is too large and small. I do fit into smalls, but smalls are like too tight. So I always get a medium. I also got two shirts. One of the shirts is actually from a while ago already because I got it uh, from a colleague who picked it up for me uh, at Disney. And uh, this is the Avengers Campus t-shirt, um, like the pre-opening t-shirt. It just says Avengers Campus, which Avengers Campus opens this summer at Disneyland Paris if you want to experience new Marvel themed rides, snacks, meet and greets. Go to Disneyland Paris starting July 20th, because that's when the land opens. And the shirt is really cool. It just says Assemble 2022 Disneyland Paris. And this was uh, 20 euros, I think. And this is a size large. And it's really cute. I'm not the biggest Marvel fan. I'm also not gonna get a lot of Avengers merch, but I do. I did really want to have something Avengers Campus themed for when I go in August. Um, which is this shirt. So really happy with that as well. And then I got a Euro Disney shirt, 
which looks like this. It's really cute. It has Sorcerer Mickey on it and it says 1992 and Euro Disney and this is a size large. And now I'm gonna get one more item which I'll show in another take. One second. So the last item that I got is actually a Disneyland Paris beach towel. Um, it's a 30th anniversary one and it has Disneyland Paris and then it has Goofy, Mickey, Minnie, Donald, Pluto, Chip and Dale, and it's just all 30th anniversary. And the only reason that I got this one is because it was on offer. Uh, when you spend 20 euros or more, you could get this for 10 euros instead of 20. And I'm going to Disneyland Paris this summer and we also have a pool at the hotel. So I was like, you know what, 10 euros. And then with annual pass discount, it's only eight euros. I'm just gonna do it. So I did get the beach towel. And yeah, that is the final item that I got, I think. So not a super huge haul, but you have to keep in mind that the spirit jerseys are really expensive. Um, so I did spend quite a bit of, quite a bit of money. Um, I also wanted to get pride pins, but unfortunately those were delayed, so I didn't get the chance to buy some. So I'm hoping that when I return in August, they will still have some from the pride event. Um, and yeah, I'm returning to Disneyland Paris in August, so uh, you can expect another haul then. And I am going to Harry Styles in July, so you can also expect a haul then. Um, and yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.